Previously on Powerboat Nation. Got down here to Cigarette. Super excited to see the new offerings they brought. This boat's been leaned out, more of a day boat. The 42 Huntress we know about, this 42 Huntress GTO, super cool boat. Sure. I think they're down here on the left. Walking down to the dock, see my buddy Thron Chal from Norway. Uh, one of my buddies is really interested in buying the 45. Wow. Kill it boat. You like it? I love it. What might be best referred to as a yacht. The, this 450 is amazing. 45 feet long, 12 feet wide, and what do you guys think? Uh, over the top? Over the top. I mean, they set a standard of features that we haven't seen on anything else at the show. So, of many of the boats that we've actually been on, this is one of the few boats that I've seen things I've seen nowhere else. Look at it. Huge center console. Every amenity and item you could ever think of. This thing is something else. The cabin, did y'all guys see that? This thing is spacious. Lots of storage, lots of carbon fiber, lots of technology. Lots of creature comforts that you kind of need, or if you don't need them, they're here. But back to our earliest conversation, this boat is sexy. Yes, yes it is. You know, there's a lot of truth to that, and Nortec has probably always been known for that European influence that I guess comes from Norway, but it is. I mean, the styling on it, it's not over the top like some of these other European boats you see running around, but it really incorporates this level of style and a level of call it sex appeal, that really makes a difference. Well, Nortec's really done a lot of innovations. I mean, when you look at how the boat's laid out, how the cabin's laid out, and you look at some of the different features, it's evident, knowing the history of Nortec, that they were the guy that brought a lot of this stuff to market first. I mean, something as simple as, we're literally standing here on a two-inch thick foam cushion. This is cushy. I mean, it's the only boat, it's a simple thing, but when we talk to Nortec, they're really down to every last detail of the boat. So it's the most comfortable boat we've sat on or stood in in the whole show. Overall, the quality, the craftsmanship, the hardware, I love everything that they did with this boat. Something as simple as this bounce cushion under the helm makes all the difference in the world. And I love the idea that it's simple. Simple and easy. The use of space in this boat is exceptional. When you look at the cabin and you look at the room and you look at how they've actually integrated the pass-through into the cabin, the use and space of room, the full lounge bed in the bottom of the cabin, it's amazing. Brent and Scott preoccupied upstairs. I said, what the heck, AC's running. Went downstairs, hit the light switch, dimming glass. As soon as I hit the light switch, everything fogged out. Sunroofs, side panels, everything darkened. Hey guys, I've seen glass like this before. Auto dimming. Privacy glass. In a boat. Can't f beat that. Took the time to go down. Lights were off. I took a quick nap. I caught him sleeping down there. Hey, why wouldn't you? Air conditioning, all that room. I mean, you gotta take a nap sometimes. You know, we go from boat to boat to boat. Every boat's pretty much got a steering wheel and you see a wide variety of stuff. You're the hardware expert. What makes this better or not as good as some of the other stuff? Or all the stuff? trim. Are you kidding? Handcrafted leather Italian steering wheel, carbon fiber dash panels, inlaid Garmin displays, all stainless handles. I mean, you don't find that on the standard boat parked next door. And they're round. That's critical. Okay. <laughs> what else would you hold on to? This. The oh handle. You know when I drove that cruise oh, ship, it doesn't have a steering wheel. When you drove that ship, that was like, what ship was that he drove? Uh, oh. Titanic? The Titanic. Titanic. Oh, yeah. Shit. That's why you didn't have a steering wheel. We saw what happened. Yeah. Honestly, this thing is uh, versatile, utilitarian, luxury. You definitely have to be luxury. There's no doubt about it. I mean, when you look at the boat, it just screams of luxury. It is luxury. There's no question about it. You pointed out this cleats, top of the line. None of this stuff is 
is anywhere close to entry level. It is luxury, there's no doubt about it. And it's also pointed with some great stuff. The on and off switch for the glass, C key for stabilization, $700 steering wheel, two giant Garmin displays that are embedded into the dash like flat screen touch. Another thing that I really liked about the Nortec, the glass on the center console is real glass. It's not a polybicarbonate. It's not any kind of plastic. It is glass. Doesn't flutter, doesn't do anything, and it is super clear. I really like that they did that. So on my boat, I got gauges. What, what are we looking at on this one? Where, where is everything? Push the button. You push the button. What button? Right here. Gauges. Oh, man. Out of all the boats, I think this one's my favorite. Hey, it's outstanding. You say that about all of them. I do, but this is truly an outstanding boat. Fit and finish, quality of parts, how they put it all together, all the features, all the amenities. It's truly an outstanding boat. Amenities, hands down. This boat has all of the amenities. We didn't see tenable glass, push buttons, great cabin, nothing else had that. You know the only thing that's missing? What? Your money. His wallet. If we had Brad's money, we could all have one. Next time on Power Mode Nation. I've got something a little bit more exciting than that. We get to ride the skater's new V-bottom. When you show up for a performance boat trial, you make sure you bring your Power Mode Nation Life Wine.